Hello there, everybody. Me again. Um, okay, wanted to cover one more thing and share it with the team. This is from my conversation with Irene today. So we spoke about how we will double verify the emails that we're uh, approaching and, and doing our, our sequencing to. So within Apollo, and I already started this process here, but within Apollo, when we find a contact or save a contact, that's Apollo's cue to find their contact information. Now, while Apollo, from what I've seen, and I've tried a good, <laughs> I think all of these tools, um, Apollo is very good relative to the rest. However, I think a key to having a really high functioning outbound process is a double verification on the email side. A um, couple reasons why. A, we like to get into inboxes of people that we're actually reaching out to, duh. But B, our email reputation really takes a hit. Even if we have like a, I don't know, let's call it six, 7% bounce rate on the first, um, through this kind of extra step, we can get that down well below half a point or half a percentage, sorry. Um, okay, so here's how I went about our process here for tomorrow's launch. Um, we found a list of companies that have site score not equal to blank or known, okay? That came out to around 500 and change on the company side. Um, from there, we took all of the found or already saved contacts at those accounts, which came out to around 1400. And now we are exporting that list of 1400. Now, Apollo recently put in a new, it's not a feature, I think it's a bug, um, limit on the number of export credits that each team has. Um, it's definitely less than 1400. I haven't checked your guys' instance yet, but our workaround here is gonna be a zap from Apollo. The trigger will be whenever a net new contact is created, send that over to through Zapier to zero bounce, um, and then we'll validate and then we will score. There's two steps in zero bounce. I'm going to pause this just while I'm waiting for the uh, the download here. My computer's being very cooperative this evening. Be right back. Okay, everybody, we are back. Um, we have our list of 1,345 people. I downloaded it by hitting this button here. Now, let's bring this over to zero bounce, and I'd like for you guys to see the results here. So we're going to validate a new list, and this is pretty straightforward here. Just want to make sure it's from 523. Good. Okay, now, uh, uh, Zero Bounce is pretty good at matching up the important columns here. Uh, it's really just first name, last name, uh, the email address, and the, I think that should be good actually. LinkedIn's in here somewhere. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and look at this list of 1311. Um, we are going to validate, okay? So let's talk a little bit about emails. If you are well-versed in this area, I apologize, and you can skip about a minute, but there are a couple different categories of emails in terms of when you hit somebody's server, AKA when you're sending like an outbound message to somebody, okay? Um, first, I wanna talk about the classification. So there's valid, which means this is going to work. Uh, there's catch-all, which means that the entire company has a forwarding address or an entire team within a company as a forwarding address. So even if you're reaching out to somebody that let's say they no longer work there, you won't get that hard bounce back, right? Um, but you obviously won't get in front of your prospect space and your reply rate will be lower because you're sending more emails to people that aren't working there or are in a different department. It's kind of a black box. So what I really like about zero bounce is and I'm gonna pause this again while we're waiting, but Zero Bounce has a scoring mechanism, right? So after I validate these emails, right, we're then gonna take all of the valid emails and all of the catch-all emails, right, which is our only viable pool of contacts left, right? The rest are invalid or do not contact or uh, spam alert, reporting frequently. Um, so we can then go ahead and score these emails and we'll touch on that in a couple minutes already. 